everybody. This is Jason. We're here for episode two, season four of the Joffis. I have two avocados because I'm about to go to Gamma Trade Show. Uh, we have a lot to talk about this week, so stay tuned. Hi, Samantha here with Jasco Games. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to two of our premier stores. Amelia Comics and Games, located in Fernandina Beach, Florida, and Gamer Loot, located in Indianapolis, Indiana. These two stores are very active with UFS and are currently selling UFS singles on TCG Player. If you have any questions about our Premier Store program or are wanting to become a part of our Premier Store program, reach out to me at samantha at jascogames.com. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to my portion of the Joffis. As you may or may not know, we have a Kickstarter coming out April 4th for Street Fighter UTS. So keep it on our social media channels. We're going to be spoiling and revealing certain game components. It's going to be great. Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of requests about Cowboy Bebop playmats and just wanted to let you know we are in the process of getting a lot more art approved for those. If you want the five that we have, please message me at jt at jascogames.com or if you want any playmats from any of our other licenses, let me know. UFS community, it is time! One of the greatest things I love about this community is how passionate everybody is and the camaraderie we all have for one another and especially the love of professional wrestling. So this year, UFS Worlds 2018, we're doing something very special. We are going to be holding a wrestling promo contest. You guys in the community, you started it last year. We are officially kicking it off this year. Go to www.jascogames.com forward slash wrestling promo contest to check out details. You guys are going to have a series of weeks to cut promos against each other. The winners are going to get awesome UFS packages. And tell you what, if you come to Worlds, we're going to give you some cool stuff to use at Worlds. And if you can't make it to Worlds, we're going to ship it to you anyway. So be sure to check out the URL, sign up for the contest, and you might get paired up against Chris Gilman, who I forgot to shout out last week as a two-time UFS Turbo winner. I know he's good, I know you're good. Let's set up for Worlds, let's build up the hype. See you guys. Hey guys, uh, you know, while we're here, we recently announced that Twinkle Murdoch has been banned from Standard. Uh, I wanted to point out for the reason for this one. So, Twinkle Murdoch is, in our opinion, not a huge problem in major competitive play. Uh, the reason we got rid of Twinkle, kind of on short notice, we did talk about it last week on the Joffice, was on the local level, Twinkle Murdoch is a little bit oppressive for new players that don't know how to play around that kind of character. Um, we had similar situations when people were playing against like Vespera uh, back in the, the Tides of Vengeance days, or even Dimitri recently. Um, and we just don't really want to have like an MPE experience uh, for players that are getting into the game and don't really know how to push their way through that kind of defensive wall or control wall. So. That's your explanation for the, the most recent ban, and uh, we'll see you here at UFS Corner. Hello everybody, welcome to UFS Corner. Today I want to talk about one of the most amazing cards in the game. It's an uncommon from Street Fighter called Cool and Focused. This card is absolutely insane. This card protects against a lot of the aggressive uh, things in, in the format right now. One of the biggest uh, most popular decks is the Big Shot Punch and Judy and Allurophobia. Um, in the Vegas PTC, it got second and third place, and then it actually got first place at the Atlanta PTC. So in Vegas, there was Jet, and then there was Dalzine, and then in Atlanta, there was Mad Piro. And there's also talks about Heidi using the Big Shot Punch and Judy combo as well. So a lot of characters can use this kit. And what happens is that you play Allurophobia, and you play the Big Shot Judy and the Big Shot Punch, and you make it like 15 speed for... 35 damage and you just kill someone in one hit. However, with Cool and Focused, this card says uh, when you attempt to block with this card, return your opponent's attack to its printed speed and zone. So the printed speed of Alerophobia is 3. So you can just block it with this. It doesn't matter if it's 15 speed for like 100 damage. You can just block with this card and it's it's an easy block for Alerophobia. So that's one of the one of the things that Cool and Focus stops. Another thing, Spike 2 a lot of players say that he is the best aggro deck in the format. Two of his kill cards, uh, M3C Devastator Plasma Cannon and Swordfish Plasma Cannon, these are both attacks that spawn other copies of itself. And one thing to note is that a multiple copies printed speed and damage is zero. So when you block with Cool and Focus, it puts it to zero speed. And then you block, and then you can easily block it. However, also the printed zone of a multiple is also mid, and Cool and Focused has a mid block. So you can just perfect block a multiple copy. 
And this is really good against Spike too. It blocks two of his most powerful attacks. And against other decks too, they, they can play Cowboy Battery, Flying Yamato Spear, um, Rain Flush is, is another one. And any, any multiple copy, Cool and Focus can just perfect block and you can take no damage. And it's also good against other attacks too, like Kokosho or Navose, attacks like that. Its other effect says, enhance once per turn, both players discard the top card of their deck. And this is good in very uh, fringe cases. Um, for example, Plant Man and Plant Barrier, they can rig the top card of their deck, or they know what the top card of their deck is. So after they do their effects, you can just say, cool and focus, discard the top card of your deck. It's no longer there. There's other cards like Merciless Master and Friendly Robbery, which can put cards to the top of the deck. You can just say, cool and focus, discard the top card of your deck. And one of the most popular cards, Pulled to Majigan, Enhance, you look at the top card of your deck. The top card of your deck, knowing what it is, is very powerful information. So you can just say, cool and focused, discard the top card of your deck. You no longer know what it is. So cool and focused is by far one of the best defensive pieces that you can play on these symbols, earth, good, and order. Uh, Keenan Meadows, our Atlanta PTC champion, he actually took me to the airport from the Lab Gaming Center. And he's like, yeah, the Woodman deck I played in the finals actually didn't play cool and focused. And if he did play cool and focused, I would have a lot of trouble, and my attacks become pretty below average. Um, and it's it's really good in Woodman because he can play it as a foundation, and he can pick it up with his ability and instantly have this block at all times. So cool and focused. If you're playing on any of these symbols, definitely run this card. Hey everybody, two avocados here, and it's time for suggestion box corner. So this week we have hi guys. So I'm 39 and married with three small children. I really, really, really love the Universal Fighting System. In fact, I came for a Street Fighter, but you guys got me to watch Cowboy Bebop. I don't have much time for tabletop gaming, but I do have time to play by myself after the kids go to bed. For this reason, I've been playing CCGs uh, that have a video game version, for lack of a better term. Will you guys ever take UFS online, uh, even if it's just a one-player computer mode? Is that something that my web developing friends can help you with if you don't have the resources to do so? I would love to see it. Thanks for your time. Um, I, th don't, I think we've answered this before in the past, but uh, for UFS, with the response windows, it is extremely difficult to make a fully uh, playable video game, but there are some workarounds for that. We have Octagon, where you can play. It's a, it's a little bit hard to get in there. Um, you can play on Tabletop Simulator, which is what Luke does. Uh, it's a really awesome way to play just about any tabletop game. Um, if we ever do design an app for the game, it will probably be either a uh, computer mode only, like story mode, or we would call it like UFS Lite and take the responses out of the game. Um, so those are our options right now, but if the community would like to get involved and see if you can prove me wrong and make a fully playable UFS online, we would love to see it. We'd love to play it. We'd love to help you guys out with it. Um, so obviously you can you can do whatever you want to help us out with that. We'd love to see it and we'll probably play it ourselves. So suggestion number two. I didn't know you guys had the WWE in town the same weekend as Las Vegas PTC. Uh, maybe put some events of interest around your events in the main calendar. One of the things we're doing now is we have a an event calendar set up on Facebook now for all of the PTCs. So if there's a major event like a WWE event, uh, maybe you guys all want to go out and get food together or do anything really cool with the community, please post in the UFS event page and we'll be able to do some cool extracurriculars with the UFS community. Uh, that's it for Suggestion Box Corner this week. I'm going to head off and show you guys some cool stuff at Gamma, so just follow me this way. See you at Gamma! Hey everybody and uh, welcome to Gamma. I don't know where the door went, but here we go.
Come on, man. <laughs> I have like two bites left. I really, really, really love the Universal Fighting System. Do it again. Ah! Oh. I didn't know what it, what it was. My avocados!